Hello everybody, welcome back to another Swift iOS tutorial. This tutorial is a bit of a continuation on our previous map kit tutorial where we took a set of locations and plotted them onto a map. So if we scroll down into our code, you can see here we have our locations. Then we created a function that takes these locations, here's the function, and ultimately plots those onto the map. Once we have our function created, we just simply put it into our view did load. And if we run this, you can see we get our locations plotted. However, the problem is that we have to zoom in a whole bunch and then reposition and continue zooming to get to the zoom level that we want. So that's the problem that we want to fix. When we run this app, we want it to zoom in to a appropriate zoom level for the annotations that we have plotted onto the map. So let's go ahead and click stop. And let's go over one way that we can create that zoom level. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to create our start location for our zoom level. We're gonna use CL location and we're gonna put in our latitude and longitude. Now this might just be like a center point. And one way that you can get this is to go to Google Maps and find the location and then do what's equivalent to a right click and click what's here. And that should give you your latitude and longitude. So for example, most of these Frisbee golf courses that we're plotting onto our map are around the Indianapolis area. So you could just find the center point for these locations or the center of Indianapolis as a good start point. The next thing we did is we created our distance span. For that, we use CO location distance, and you'll notice that's a distance measurement from an existing location, measured in meters. For that, we put in 50,000. Now, of course, if you need to change that to change the zoom level, you can do that. Next, we created our function that will give us our zoom level. It will take a location argument of CO location. Inside the function, we create our map coordinates using MK coordinate region make with distance. And that creates a new MK coordinate region from the specified coordinate and distance values. Now you'll notice this takes three arguments, the center coordinate and the latitudinal and longitudinal meters. Okay, so for that we put in location.coordinate, which will just essentially be what we pass in for our argument and that will be this here. And then for the next two arguments, which we mentioned are the latitudinal and longitudinal meter distances. And for those, we can just simply put in the distance span. Okay, now with all of that, that will give us our zoom level. We've created somewhat of a central point to start, and then using the distance spans, that will give us somewhat of a radius ultimately giving us our zoom level that we want. Now the last thing we did in our function is we used our map view outlet that we created here. Let's go to our storyboard and you can see here, this is our MK map view that we dragged into our code here. So we're gonna use that map view outlet dot set region. We're going to put in our map coordinates that we created here and we set animated to true. Okay, so now that we have our function created that will give us the zoom level that we want, all we have to do is put that function in our view did load. When we call the function, we're gonna put in the location, latitude and longitude, which is here. So let's go ahead and run it. And recall from before when we ran this, it started zoomed way out. Now we are zoomed in, and this zoom level looks much more appropriate for the locations that we have plotted onto our map. Okay, that's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.